The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the June 13th, the terrific Thursday edition of today's Trader's Ed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this, during this next 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on it at 877-927-6648. Now, if you've got a question but you can't dial in, we've got your back. Send me an email. Send it off to Steve at TFNN.com. Send it off early, if you would. And in that subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside our Tiger's Den, well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Thursday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. We start our day here with a mixed bag. The mix goes like this. You got the Dow up, I'm sorry, the NASDAQ up 92, NASDAQ composite up 47, semis are up 52. The other U.S. indices trading to the downside. Dow's down 263, S&P's up 4, Russell's off 23, Trendy's down 240, Gold's off 24 bucks, Silver's down a buck 14, Lights Recruit is off 20 cents, Natural Gas back 12 pennies, and the 30 year Treasury print out at 119.09. That's up about four ticks. Now, our leader in the clubhouse to the upside when we do get to the individual stocks uh, for uh, we'll start off with um, I think we'll start off with Abgo uh, Broadcom out there but a big gigantic rally I don't even know how I'll figure out where this is headed to but it's up 200 bucks uh, trade out at 1696 Chipotle up $92 nearly 3% Super Micro 9 bucks 67 bucks Bank of Montreal 20 bucks 5% that's a big move Arista Networks 13 bucks or 4% our movers to the downside our uh, micro strategy down 80 bucks. Asmil Holdings 26, Mercado Rebate 24, Signet Jewelers 16, Spotify Technologies down about 14. So we got movers and we've got shakers out there. Uh, but let's uh, begin by taking a look at. Well, let's go back, take a look at that New York Stock Exchange Advanced Client Oscillator, which is below zero, not to the oversold area out there. This tells us that sellers are the ones that are in control of the market. Spot Volatilinix, still well below its 50-day exponential moving average. That is the bottom left-hand panel out there. The 50-day is at uh, 1349. Spot Fix right now is trading out at 1234. We'll see if uh, and there's a question as well from yesterday from Jim. You want to take a look at UVXY. So we're going to take a look at those charts uh, in, a, uh, in a few moments or maybe during the second segment out there. So that's what's going on here. Is there anything else to take a look at? Not that I can think of off the top of my head. So let's move over to Stevie's white background charts out there. And we'll take a look. Actually, I'm going to start with here. So I'm going to start with the smaller time frames. In other words, the intraday charts here for the NQ. And then we'll take a look at maybe uh, what's going on in inside the entire NDX 100 area. We, we did actually a pretty good job yesterday in breaking apart what was going on inside those the top 10. We only got to the top four or five stocks, I believe. But here we'll take a look at that NQ. Now, the only topping pattern that it does have is a wave number seven pattern. Now, that's going to require a lower high. So the earliest that could confirm would be tomorrow afternoon out there. If we did get that, that would suggest that price would pull back to support. The first level of, of support on the NQ right now would be a 19,223. We take a look at the five hour time frame chart. So, the question of whether or not the NQ is going to rally or the index is going to rally, I believe that we'll get the signals from these charts here. For example, 
We have a TD9 count top that completed at uh, 9 o'clock this morning for the five-hour time frame. Price has pulled back since, but it's pulled back to test support, which is at 19,535. If price were to close below 19,535, that would suggest a further retracement. You might say further retracement to where? Well, the four-hour time frame chart also has a TD9 count top. It's pattern. Now, in order for this pattern here for the NQ to get negated for the five-hour time frame chart, and this is what I would really be watching, you need to see it close above that high during that session between 5 and 9 this morning. Out there, uh, 4 and 9 this morning. And that high is 19,691. So if we get a five-hour close above that level out there, that suggests that the NQ is likely to continue up and go target that A to B equals CD pattern that we're looking at on the daily time frame. Uh, in the case of the four-hour time frame, all that needs for this to get negated, it only needs a close above 19.640.50. So two different ones. Which one would you rely on most, Stevie? I would say the five-hour time frame chart. Here, though, the four-hour time frame chart, the TD9 count top, is also pulled back to test support. It's oscillator and change line. The oscillator and change line right now is printing out at the 19.566 level. If you were to see it close below that, then price would pull back to its buy zone. And the current buy zone on a four-hour time frame is between 19,456 and 19,499. In the case of the two-hour time frame chart, you have a Rhodes momentum indicator atop that confirmed at 10 o'clock. Now, what price is doing right now, it's testing uh, the uh, bearish, the, the center of its bearish structured profile. So in this case here, if price were to close below 19,576, that would suggest to move down to the 19,456 level. We take a look at just that top row of charts. We have a wave number seven on the daily time frame, TD9 count tops for the uh, two and four hour chart for the uh, uh, four and five hour charts. And the two hour charts has two hour chart has a Rhodes momentum indicator top. Rhodes momentum indicator top on the 60 minute chart as well. Out here, wave number seven on a 30 minute time frame chart. So you get all types of potential topping signals out there. So, what this suggests to you and I, we don't have to go too much further than this, is to watch that five hour TD nine count top out there. Again, a price close of 19,691. We're almost assured of a further rally out there. Now, I mentioned going to take a look at the other charts. What are some of the other charts? I believe this is the NQ. It is. Perfect. So here we've got the daily chart for the NQ, followed by the cash index, the NASDAQ 100, followed by the index ETF, the QQQ, followed by the equal weight uh, ETF out there. We can see that today we're at new all-time highs in the NQ, in the NDX, and in the Qs. We are not... In, and we've not even come close, really, to get into all to new all-time highs in the equal-weighted ETF. But right now, price is just consolidated with inside its profile. But it just suggests that there are problems underneath the covers out there. And that means underneath, below the top 10 instruments, for the most part, for the NDX 100. Uh, wave number 7 pattern is only inside the NQ. We do not have that same signal inside the cash indice out there. So that's kind of questionable. Uh, we do not have any Rhodes momentum indicator signals. We are in bar number seven on all three of those charts out there. And so that says you could get a top that would form between tomorrow, Friday, and Tuesday of next week. So that's what's going on. We take a look at the NQ. Uh, let me just switch over here real quickly and take a look at the ES Mini. Uh, or no, I'm sorry, the Dow. Let's take a look at the Dow equity future contract. In the case of the Dow, the the, the, the future contract, the cash indice, the ETF, all doing the same thing, which is finding resistance at their oscillator and change line levels out here. So the Dow equity future contract may be pulling back to 38.303. The Dow Diamonds, 384.14 would be its target. And uh, Steve Rhodes with TFNN will be right back. <clears throat> If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? 
one simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. So we're going to switch over, take a look at the ES mini charts out here. No topping signal. Now, if it can poke its head above yesterday's high, whether it's today or tomorrow, it could be setting up a TD9 count top up there. Yesterday's high being 52, 54, 50. We take a look at the other charts out here. I don't have the same type of topping patterns that the NQ charts have. I do have a four-hour rose momentum indicator top. Price right now trading below support. That would suggest a further move lower. Um, I don't have a topping pattern on the uh, two-hour time frame chart, but price is trading below its bullish structure profile. We've got a road momentum indicator top on the 60-minute chart. Price is below profile, suggests move to 5385. Um, I don't think I have a top on the 30-minute uh, time frame chart, but nonetheless, price is below profile support. So it's a 10-minute chart here that you want to pay attention to. Why? Because at 1120, less than a minute from now, it's going to go ahead and complete a TD nine-count uh, bottom. So if the ES Mini is going to move lower, what you'd be watching for here, the confirmation of that, would be a close blow on a 10-minute basis, a close blow 54.15 even Steven. Uh, you do have a new profile that is forming as we speak. So what this suggests, that TD9 count bottom on a 10-minute basis should lead to a rally towards its oscillator and change line. Either its oscillator and change line to the top of this new profile. So that's between the range of 54.26 and 54.29. So you know what to look for on a rally to the upside. You also know if the ES Mini is going to continue to move lower. All it really needs to do for you is close below that 10-minute TD9 count bottom out there. And lastly... Let's take a look at the uh, Russell 2000 out here, which had just a terrific rally yesterday, but it ran right into profile resistance. So let's get those charts up on the screen, see what's going on from an intraday basis there. Um, the daily time frame chart still uh, you know, has a buy the D point pattern. Now, if I, I would try to move this over. But you can see where it formed two two different hammer candles out here, not yesterday, but the day before and the day before that out there. And that confirmed this buy the D point pattern so 
Let's just move that over. So here on the daily time frame, you can see the A to B equals CD. And then yesterday's rally stopped right at the bottom of its profile out there. So in other words, it was unable to take out resistance. Not the best of signs. 2059 is that number out there. Uh, now, the A to B equals CD pattern is still in effect out there. The only way it gets negated is it closed below the bottom of that hammer candle. And that would be 2580. So we know we hit resistance. We're, we're trading lower out here. Not a big surprise there. Well, we're looking for any kind of bottom signals. Turns out, turns out that the 10 minute uh, uh, Russell 2000 TD Nike out bottom failed. That suggests lower price. Okay, so that's got lower price. You've got a 15 minute chart that's going to go ahead and confirm a TD Nike out bottom at 1130. And then at 11.45, we'll complete that pattern, and that suggests a further rally. Now, I don't know that we'll be watching this during the rest of the show today, but if you're trading the Russell 2000, take a look at that equity future contract. Put it on a 15-minute time frame basis. Know that the TD9 count bottom pattern is going to complete by 11.45. Whatever the low is at that stage, if price closes below that, that pattern gets negated and suggests a further move lower. Um, if we look at the two-hour time frame chart, this is the only one that I also see a bottom pattern on, and that's the TD9 count bottom for it. Now, this candle is going to complete at 2 p.m., um, yeah, 12 noon. Great, so it's going to complete. So so you've got the 15-minute, and then you've got the two-hour time frame chart to rely upon. The the two-hour time frame chart, of course, is going to be the, the, the better one, but you're going to get more, you're going to get quicker signals, if you will, on that 15-minute time frame. So whatever that low is at the moment, the low here, let's assume that, that we're going to get a bit of a rally because of that 15-minute TD9 count bottom. Uh, but right now, the low is 2027.70. If that remains to be the low and price closes below that on a two-hour time frame, that says we are headed lower. Headed lower to where? Well, what I would have to say would be headed lower to where would be, the, again, the bottom of that daily hammer candle out there. And that's at the 2,580 area. So, uh, John C., is, is that okay if we just took a look at the Russell 2000 versus the IWM? If you need the IWM, I'll squeeze that in uh, somehow afterwards. But that's what I see when I take a look at uh, that area of the uh, market. <clears throat> Let's go to our uh, first question that came in. It was really from yesterday. Actually, there are three instruments that we didn't get to yesterday as far as the top eight. I'll get to one of them right now, which is Broadcom, ABGO. You can see this has a gigantic gap to the upside out there. Uh, if we were to take a look at it yesterday, we would have said that this is bullish and it's going to continue to move higher. Why? Because uh, on uh, on uh, uh on Tuesday, price took out a TD9 count top. That was a candle session from May the 16th out there. So that was taken out, and a price was also above the top of its profile and above its green oscillator and change line. And so now we've rallied uh, big time. And where are we headed to? Do we have any kind of a top? Well, let's open up the weekly chart and see what kind of signals, if anything, that I can see out here. Very difficult to draw in any A to B equals CD patterns. Not that I can't, but, you know, do I start down here at October 7th? Do we start at some other date? Um, and it's a gigantic A to B equals CD pattern because it could run anywhere from about the uh, $400 level up to about uh, 1400 That's a pretty big A to B equals CD to add to the 1200 area out there. But we do take a look at possible topping signals out there. I have us in wave number seven, letter G. Now, there's a weekly time frame chart. And that can't be confirmed until the end of next week out there. So you do have that as a potential topping signal. I have the same wave number seven pattern on the monthly chart. But again, that can't be confirmed until the end of next month. On a daily time frame, you are going to form bar number seven. So perhaps what this does is it goes on to form a TD9 count top, and then we get some type of pullback. So we'll want to take a look at this uh, next week, I would say. And and because of, if we do get a TD9 count top, the question is, are the new profiles that have formed inside of Broadcom? Let's go take a look at the ENVX. This was also late from yesterday that we didn't get to. This for Bob in Spokane and ENVX. Uh, so yesterday, this thing was rallying strong. It ended up at the day, at the end of the day, with a bearish shooting star candle. However, price also gapped to the upside. A gap up is a bullish signal. A bearish shooting star is a bearish signal. So which one is it? Well, I'll tell you which one it is. It's not the bearish shooting star. Well, how can you say that, Stevie? On your screen, it says shooting star. Because in order to really, in order, in order to truly understand what the candle is, this is at least what I do out here, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and fill in that gap. So if I were really to colorize it, it would, and I, I wish I could do it, it doesn't really, you know, but there basically would be the gap. 
Okay, so it won't let me really move this over in place out here, but you kind of get it. Well, in this case here, that is too large of a body for that to be a bearish shooting star candle. So even though you got that bearish shooting star, Bob, I'm going to say that is not a Rhodes momentum indicator confirmed top. Now, if you were to get a bearish reversal candle today, which you could, you get a dark cloud cover, you get a bearish engulfing candle, then you would have a Rhodes momentum indicator top. Short of that, the daily time frame chart is saying it wants to continue its rally. Continue it to where? Excellent question. We are trading into its swing point on a weekly basis. It formed a, a swing point out here the week of December 22nd. Volume there was 20 million shares. Sounds like a holiday weekend, if you will, or holiday week. We're in it to right now with 29 million shares. So as long as price closes above tomorrow, 1333, we're 1314 right now, that's going to suggest that price should go at least target that high. And that high out there for ENVX is at 1478. What happens if it closes below the low, Stevie, at 1333? What that says is at least that 1333 level should get tested because you're coming to that swing point with volume. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels. You'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns. You'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry Pesavento on Friday, June 14th and Friday, June 28th this month for his live trading sessions, where you'll sit right beside him as he trades the market live. For this month only, enter code LARRYJUNE24 and save $50 off your first month. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Trader's Edge is brought to you by Direction's Daily Leveraged and Inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. 
Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back, uh, folks. Doug and Steve yesterday wanted to take a look at Starbucks. So those are the charts we've got up on our screen here. So Starbucks gap to the downside pretty hard. Uh, looks like uh, back on the trading day of May the uh, 1st out there, volume on that move lower was 66 million shares, so it was big volume. But what was taking place at that time during that gap to the downside, we just have to shift our eyes to the weekly time frame chart because the question is, did that bottom? Now, let me first open up the daily time frame. Maybe there was an A to B equals CD pattern. I'm sure we could find one in here. And uh, so I would have to say then on the trading day of May 7th, that was the, uh, but, well, you could say that May 2nd was a potential bottom signal, but that failed. That was a hammer candle. You had another hammer candle. Uh, uh, come to fruition on May the 7th. So you did get a bottom based upon the A to B equals CD pattern uh, by the D point. But what was also going on in the weekly time frame, uh, Duncan, was you had a nice TD9 count bottom. Now, what's transpired uh, since May 10th on a weekly basis is prices rallied right up in that oscillator and change line. Now, price closed above it last week. We like to see two close above a resistance level. So if tomorrow Starbucks can close above 80.39 or thereabouts, then what this is suggesting is we should see a further rally. If it closed above 80.39 tomorrow, well, that would be a close above the top of its daily profile, which is 80.13. And that would suggest that Starbucks continues to move higher. The price target out here for Starbucks would be up at the 88.81 to 89.71. That is uh, the current uh, bullish structure. Well, was it a bullish structure profile? Um, yeah, it was. 93 bucks. Okay. So the if this is only a counter trend move, and it could be a nice counter trend move, a uh, price would run into resistance between that 88.81, 89.71 level. If we look at the monthly time frame chart, on that gap to the downside, what price was doing was it was testing its bullish structured monthly profile, 73.33. So I don't know what your question was necessarily. If it was, has um, Starbucks bottom? The answer is yes on the daily. The answer is yes on the weekly. And the answer is yes on the monthly time frame chart. But what we really need to see right now to prove itself to us again is a close above that weekly oscillator and change line. It's around right now, it says 80.40. I think it was 80.39 just a moment ago. So use that as the ballpark range out there, Steve-O. Hope that helps you out with regard to Starbucks. Now, Jimmy D yesterday <clears throat> was interested in the UVXY, which is really a difficult instrument to trade and a difficult instrument to identify whether it's made a top or a bottom. But we're going to do our best. We're going to make our best efforts here. We're going to take a look at the Stevie Standard charts out there. What we're going to notice is that uh, we could get a TD9 count bottom pattern that uh, confirms today. All that the UVXY needs to do is close, Jimmy, is close below 24.35. We're at 2398 right now. Again, that number would be a close below the close of bar number five, and that's at 2435. So the question has to be, um, and we also have a rose momentum indicator signal, but that requires a bullish reversal candle. We're not going to get that today. Um, we have a new profile that is formed for UVXY. So to the extent that you are trading this, Jimmy, that profile support level that's just forming today is at 2363, and your resistance zone is between 2468 and 2537. So this is a slightly bearish structured candle out there. Now, if we look at other TD9 count bottoms, for example, the most recent ones, we had one that went ahead and, and completed on May 15th, and it uh, failed two days later. Now, notice that price here, when that TD9 count bottom was forming, price was below a red oscillator and change line. Should have led to at least a test of that level. It didn't. Told us, boy, that was really kind of weak. Not, not kind of weak. was very weak. In the case of the uh, prior one to that, you had a completed TD9 count bottom on May 2nd. At that stage, price was testing that red oscillator and change line and rejecting it. That failed the very next session as well. Now, we're talking about a TD9 count bottom now potentially forming. What's the difference between this one and those last two? It's the oscillator and change line. We are now trading above the oscillator and change line. That doesn't guarantee that we're going to move higher, but that is a level of resistance that price will have moved above. So watch today's close out there. If you get the uh, close below that bar number five level, if you're asking me, is there a potential bottom, I would have to say absolutely. And know that you've got a battle between 2468 and 2537. And if you close above 2537, then you're off to the races. The races, by the way, would be the uh, candle session from the day of May 31st. That was a bearish shooting star candle. The high of that session is at 2803. So, Jimmy, 
Thanks for waiting an extra day on that. Uh, hopefully you were uh, in the Tiger's Den and you were able to uh, catch that. Maybe you'll catch that on the replay if you are not. Uh, Vic wanted to take a look at Dr. Copper. So let's move over to the Copper charts out there, see what we can identify. Um, I don't recall the question. I didn't write it down, so I'm just going to do my normal review, uh, just like we just did here for you, VXY. So we take a look at the monthly time frame chart for the July copper contract. What do we have out there? We may get a Roachman indicator top. It just depends what candle actually ends up forming on a monthly time frame. Right now, if this were the end of the month, which it is not, we have a bearish engulfing candle. On a weekly time frame chart, I don't know. Do we have a sell the D point pattern? My guess is that we do. Let's open up the chart. We most certainly do. So that confirmed out here on the trading uh, week of May 24th. Price right now is just trading with inside its profiles. So what you want to watch here, Vic, with regard to copper, is this price close below 4.40. If it does, that's going to suggest what one that would give us a weekly change in uh, a profile change in trend signal, and that could say that we're pulling back to 371. I'm not saying we're going to do that. I'm saying that's what it could be saying. But watch that 440 level. Level. Price shouldn't get down there. Why shouldn't it get down there? Well, because we have it confirmed by the D point pattern that formed yesterday with that bull sash candle. But we have a profile. And that profile bottom is at 455. And that continues to act as a resistance level. So you really need to see, Vic, you need to see price get above the 455 level for the daily by the D point pattern to really get any kind of attraction out there. If it did get traction, price would likely rally up towards the 463 to 471 level. On a 30-minute time frame chart, I don't see anything out there that's going to help us, nor do I on a 60-minute time frame, nor do I on the 120-minute time frame. Yeah, I don't have anything that's really assisting us on anything other than what you – well, I take that back. The 240 is a pretty good chart to look at. Why is that, Stevie? Because it has a nice road momentum indicator bottom that has led to a consolidation with inside its profile. We can see that uh, back at about uh, 10 o'clock in the morning on uh, June the uh, – uh, this uh, were the 13th, so that was yesterday – Price rallied right up into the top of that profile at 4.608. So if you're going to ask me, Vic, where's a key level of resistance, certainly from an intraday standpoint, it's going to be at that $4.60 mark. So I hope that provided you the information you were looking for, Vic, for Dr. Copper. And as always, thanks so much for writing in. Uh, we've got a request to take a look at ticker symbol ELF. So let me get back to that set of charts out there. It might be here. No, that was UVXY. So it's going to be the next one. So this is for David H. in uh, Panama City. His question is, will ELF uh, get up to the uh, – two, move down to the 221 level? Maybe it's up to the 221 level. Well, move to oh, – I'm sorry. Oh, geez, Louise. Well, move to 221. So that must be up to 221. All right. So we take a look at ELF out here. A great Christmas movie. Um, you've got a nice road momentum indicator bottom confirmed on May 21st. We are trading above profile resistance. We're trading above its green oscillator and change line. The answer is it should. But first, it's got to deal with a couple resistance levels. That first one's going to be up at 202.58. We'll talk about that, uh, David, when we get back from this break. spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits.
In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. We'll take a look at ELF Beauty, Inc. ELF is the uh, ticker symbol out there. The question on the uh, table is, will this move to 221? So first, and it, I think that's by next week, I believe this is an option trade <clears throat> out here. <clears throat> so when we take a look at this. First question is, do I see any, Is this, are the charts bullish or bearish? Or are they, you know, do we have different signals for different time frames? Well, they're bullish for the daily, bullish for the weekly, bullish for the monthly. Kind of neutral, but they're bullish for the monthly time frame chart. In the case of the weekly, price is trading above its green oscillator and change line and the top of its profile. In the case of the monthly chart, trading above its green oscillator and change line, but with inside the profile, and I don't have a topping signal, maybe there was a wave number seven top, but either way, price pulled back, tested, and rejected support. So, should this will head higher? The question is by next Friday or not. That I don't know the answer to. But if we take a look at this chart, and it maybe it's maybe trying to set up a new A to B equals city pattern to the upside in order to do that, it has to take out this swing point and that swing point is from the trading day of june 3rd and that's really where your resistance level is that is at 202.58 it's not resistance because it's some kind of pattern it's resistance because there was a dark cloud cover that formed the day after that in this case here it's the highest high of the pattern so that would be the prior day and yesterday and that had volume by the way that swing point of 1.8 million shares yesterday you moved into it didn't get up to 1.5 million shares now you'd love to see price stay inside that swing point that's anywhere between the range of 188.01 up to 202.58 out there today so far in a little over two hours of trading volume has really dropped off we're now down to 200,000 shares so you're not pushing into it today with volume if you can close above that then you'll have another battle David at the 20603 level out there um, so this does look like it wants to add higher but you're dealing with some resistance on that daily time frame and a swing point if you will we're still trading inside it. But even if you close above this, you got to watch and see what happens at the 20603 level out there. So it's got potential, but I don't see that potential unfolding today, um, not with that type of volume that you've got in it. So I hope that helps you out with regard to ELF. And as always, thanks so much for writing in. <clears throat> uh, GTE uh, wants to take a look at ticker symbol NXPI. We take a look at NXPI. What do we know about it? Well, it is confirming today a Rhodes Momentum Indicator Top. 
What we did yesterday was price moved higher, did it with less relative energy out there that triggered Stevie's RMI signal. And today we have a gap to the downside. It's a small gap. I mean, the low of yesterday was 279.59. The high today, 279.43. Nonetheless, that 16 cent uh, difference is a gap. And that is a bearish signal unless it gets taken out. Now, what price is doing, it tested support so far, and that was the top of the profile. It's trading above it slightly right now. If price did close below 274.86 today, GTE price should target 268 to 270. If price closed below 268.21, that would tell us about a move down to the 255 level on a weekly time frame. No topping pattern that I can see at the moment, just a consolidation with inside its profile. That'd be too, that would be between the range of 250 up to the 279 area. I do not see a topping signal on the monthly time frame. So just a daily, maybe that just says a price is going to pull back and find some strong support at 268.21. But if price remains above the top of that profile, and again, that number at the top of the profile is 274.86, we would call the signal overall. Oh, sorry. Uh, shoot. Uh, we would call the signal. Let me make sure I got the right thing. Yeah, two, two seventy four eighty six. As long as price remains above that, then the signal is basically neutralized because the top of the profile, a level, potential level of support, will have held. So I hope that helps you out. GTE, um, LB wanted to take a look at ticker symbol NXE. So let's go get those charts up on our screen here and uh, see what this is doing. It's trading right now at seven oh eight. It is rally. This is next gen energy. This has rallied into its uh, oscillator and change line. Do we have any? kind of a uh, bottom signal the answer is i don't see one i don't see one so uh the, that doesn't mean it hasn't bottom it just means it doesn't have one of stevie's bottom signals out here so what you're watching for here firstly is can price so you've got two levels of resistance even if price can close above its red oscillator and change line which is really important out there um even if it closes above that at 724, you've got another layer of resistance, the bottom of its profile. We've been below the bottom of the profile for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sessions now. If this uh, were to get above 724, you'd have to watch how price behaves at 761. Why? Because at 761, that's where a counter trend move would find resistance and begin to turn back down. Is that a possibility? Well, when we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, uh, what uh, Next Gen Energy has is Roach Momentum Indicator Top. And last week, price closed below the bottom of its weekly profile at 714. The rally this week also rallied up into that level at 714. So if this closes below 714 tomorrow, LB, we've got a, a, a change, we've got a confirmed profile change in trend on the daily time frame. And that would suggest that this wants to pull back to the 561 level. Now, wait a minute. I do see on the daily chart a wave number seven signal. Let me just make sure that count is real. Where that start? Yeah, it it, uh, it most certainly is. So you did get. So I take that back. You did get a bottom pattern on the daily time frame, but price, you know, rejecting that red oscillator and change line says be careful out there. The weekly chart is really saying be careful, and the monthly chart is saying, you know, guys, I pulled back after forming wave number seven, Rhodes momentum indicator top. I pulled back and I've tested and rejected that first level of support, and that's at 680. So 680 on any downside move, uh, LB is going to be a very key level to watch out there. So I hope that helps you out with regard to next gen energy out there. Uh, GT also had another question about JBHT. And JBHT, let's go ahead and take a look at those charts. And somehow, if I met, read your question correctly, based on JBHT, uh, 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 JB Hunt, um, uh, performance you're wondering is are we going to have a, a market crash similar to 1987 i believe that was the message i'll come back and answer that question well first i'll tell you the answer is no but i'll come back and show you the reasons why with regard to jbht what do we know it formed a td9 count at roach momentum indicator bottom price rallied and for some reason the uh, breakout support level 161.91 is acted as resistance but that's not really where resistance was at where was resistance resistance was at 164.05 164.05 is the bottom of its weekly profile so not until you see a close above 164.05 will this td9 count bottom really get any traction to the upside if you did get a close above 164.05 we'd be looking at 168.03 as a battle and 172.01 as a battle on a monthly time frame for JBHT, let's just open up this chart. I see, uh, what do I see? I see a sideways consolidation. So there's your longer term program out here with regard. And the cool thing about this is that if this consolidation were to get broken to the, well, that didn't work. 
let's try to actually get my rectangle up out here. So we take a look at this. Here is your consolidation. It's a beauty. Because so if price were to close below, so now we know the key level of support here uh, on a monthly basis, but we'll extend this to the weekly, even daily time frame. If price starts trading below 153.92, this says could be trouble. Could be lots of trouble. No, I don't believe this is a crash or this is an indication of a market crash out there. This would just be a consolidation measured move breakdown, which would take us back to its breakout level of support all the way back at 88, 83 out there. And that's looking at the monthly time frame chart. <clears throat> so we come back from this break. I will answer the question and show you the reasons why that no, this is not, we're not going to see any kind of market crash. We're just not. Not at least as of today, June the 13th. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Welcome back, my folks. So, you know, over the years I've shared with uh, each of you, whether it's done in the uh, radio show or any uh, of the workshops that I've done, you know, I've really shown you the Rhodes Mintum Indicator, seeing all the different patterns that I use out there. But there's one pattern 
Well, first of all, in order, and I've studied all the bear markets out there. You know, I've got my data inside the uh, Dow goes back to 1896. And first of all, whenever any bear market that's ever unfolded, there has been a topping pattern on the daily, weekly, and the monthly, preferably roads momentum indicator signals. At least two out of three should have those roads momentum indicator signals. What we can see right now is the only place that has that pattern right now is on the weekly time frame chart. We don't have that on the daily. We don't have that on the monthly. Now, the month's not over. You could get a bearish reverse candidate to confirm last uh, month signal out there but this is telling us no not likely to see that what else is telling us no not likely to see any kind of a market crash out there and that is how the uh, s p we're going to stay with the s p is trading in the major currencies out there <clears throat> i would ask this question of you gte do you know how the s p 500 is trading in euros yen pounds even the chinese yuan well, let's go take a look out there. We're trading at new all-time highs today. We didn't make a new all-time high in terms of U.S. dollars, but we have made a new all-time high in terms of euros, in terms of yen, in terms of Great British Pound, in terms of the Australian dollar. In fact, we're getting very close to forming a new all-time high in terms of Chinese yuan. That high has been out in place since uh, January 4th of 2022 out there. And that's up. All it needs to do is close above 756.27 on uh, that. We're almost at a new all-time high in terms of Swiss franc. And we formed a new all-time high yesterday in terms of Canadian loonies out there. What you got to understand is this is a worldwide global rally inside of the S&P 500. And that is another reason. You've got global capital that we can see it on. We, we take a look at the charts out here. We can see it when we take a look at the charts. These are the best bull markets. The question is, will we get any kind of a pullback, if you will, for some type of uh, daily bottom in order to uh, uh, become a long and uh, run on this rally? But look, we do have some issues out there. So short term, like we've been talking about, those equal weighted ETFs and the SPY for the S&P 500 and the NQ haven't proved themselves to us. But these are the reasons why we will not see a market crash. Folks, have a, a terrific Thursday. No coughing hack, really, during the whole show. That's a beautiful thing. I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Take care.